my kitchen. It is a brutally hot day out today, so I'm in the kitchen um, trying to stay cool. Um, little known or little new fact about me is my car doesn't have air conditioning right now. I have a black SUV with black leather seats and black interior and it doesn't have air conditioning and it was 98 degrees today and that was pretty brutal. So I'm not trying to go outside at any point right now. I'm trying to stay inside and soak up the air conditioning. I do need to go out and water then I got a sprinkler so I'm just moving the sprinkler around the yard to the different gardens but it's still a solid 85 degrees so I'm still trying to wait for it to cool down a little bit and then water once it cools down. So since it's so hot, we're going to be inside today. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use up the leftover things that I put up last year to make room for new things that I want to put up this year. What I try to do every season is figure out what did I put up last year, what did I eat the most of, or what didn't I really eat. And then that can kind of help me plan the next year. If I didn't eat a lot of stuff, if I didn't eat a lot of something, then I probably don't need to put it up again this year, or maybe not as much. So one of the things that I put up last year that I'm not a really big fan of is I did blueberry pie filling. I had a whole bunch of blueberries. I was gifted blueberries for some reason. I always take the free stuff. So I made blueberry pie filling. Something weird about me is I'm not actually a big blueberry fan. I want the blueberry bushes and I want to make the pie filling and all that stuff. And I can give it to other people. Like I love making it. But I'm not a big blueberry fan. I do love, there's a certain type of blueberry muffin that I love. And it has to have the crumble on the top. It has to be small with the crumble on the top. That's my favorite thing in the world. One of my favorite things in the world. But in reality, I'm not a blueberry person. But I canned, or I made this blueberry pie filling last year. My intent was to can it. And when you can, there are certain things that you should or shouldn't do. So for instance, when you can uh, fruit pie filling, you want to leave out the cornstarch. Now, that's what the canning books say. Don't add the cornstarch. Um, you add something else in replace of the cornstarch. But I added the cornstarch, didn't really realize, added the cornstarch, I'm like, shoot, now I can't can this blueberry pie filling, so I froze it into a bag. And I got this out probably 10 minutes ago, and it is completely soft. After I did this, after I got it frozen, I realized you can can pie filling even if it has cornstarch in it. Uh, that's okay. But I already frozen these, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to leave them in the freezer if we're going to do it. I did four quarts of pie filling. Each bag has about one can of pie filling in it. I did four. I've used one. I have three left. <laughs> so that shows you how I didn't really use them that often. I also canned fried apples and these I use a lot. I still have a lot left. I did these in October, but I love these. These I've been eating so much. I also did some fried peaches. So what I've been doing with, all, with the fried apples and the fried peaches and what you could do with the blueberry pie filling is a couple different things which I'm obsessed with. Put them all over ice cream. They're so delicious over ice cream. Put them in a pancake or a waffle batter or even put them on top of pancakes or waffles. I put them in ham pies. I made delicious pie crust, fill them, make little hand pies. Delicious. I use that as just in pies and that's what we're going to do with one of our recipes today. My fried apples, my fried peaches, I love to just use kind of as a side. Um, I think they're delicious just as a side. So I'm really loving having these items on hand and I made them and done them when they were in season. So they were super, super cheap for me to make because I'm buying them by the bulk in season, but they can last a whole year. So I really love doing that. So one of the things I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to eat within the seasons. So only eat what is coming in, um, in the season. So right now, it is almost blueberry time. So I want to use up this blueberry pie filling. I'm going to start using my blueberry pie filling and just make space in my freezer for something else I might like a little bit more than the pie filling. But today we're going to be doing two different recipes to start using up some of our ingredients. Again, just to make some space on our shelves and our freezer for the new harvest that is about to come in. At the very start of this video, I was whipping up a pie crust and I have it in the fridge right now. The pie crust, I'll put the description below. It's just a generic pie crust. It was two and a half cups of flour, uh, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon sugar, and a cup of cubed butter, and then six to eight tablespoons of water, depending on how a dry your dough was. Clearly I made quite a mess because I did not add enough water into my food processor. I was too nervous about getting it too wet because I had done that, that I kind of went too shy. So 
Uh, I made a mess, but thanks to soy sauce, she got it cleaned up for me. <laughs> Leave it to me. So at my work, I'm organizing a kickoff the summer party that's going to happen in two days. So rather than make it tomorrow night, I'm already baking tonight, I thought I'd make an apple pie. So I have the pie crust in the fridge, and we're going to be using our fried apples. So this is a great way, again, to make a quick and easy, easy meal. And what you can do when you're prepping, if you have some downtime, whip up a pie crust and stick it in the freezer. Whip up too, stick them in the freezer. That pie crust took me about five minutes to make. And since I had everything already dirty, I honestly should have just made it in the pie crust and put it in the freezer, but I'm lazy. <laughs> and now I'm getting hot in here. I don't have the oven going yet, but now I'm, now I'm talking about the heat, now I'm hot. But by kind of prepping these items ahead or doing them when you're already doing something else, you can save yourself time later. So all I need to do for this dessert was make the pie crust. My apples are already done. They're already ready to go. This is not apple pie feeling. This is just fried apples, but it's going to work just fine. With the blueberries, I thought I'm making a blueberry pie and I changed my mind. I'm going to be doing something different and I actually don't have a recipe for this. We're kind of making this up as we go along. I think, well, I don't think I'm going to make a blueberry cake. And then I think I'm going to do a cream cheese frosting on top of it. I think that sounds good. I'm pretty sure that sounds good. Right? Like, that sounds good, right? So that's what I'm going to do with my blueberry pie filling. So we're going to get started on the cake while we wait for my pie, my pie crust to get nice and cold before we can roll it out and get that puppy going. So what I like to do is I like to have my cake mixes on hand, ready to go ahead of time. So I always have two cake mixes. Why well, don't I always have two? I have two jars dedicated to each cake mix. White cake here, chocolate cake, spice cake, brownie mix, chocolate chip cookies, etc. I have two jars dedicated to each. And what happens like right now, when I use this jar, I'll wash this jar and I'll put it back in the pantry. And then when I use the second jar, at some point within probably 24 hours after you use the second jar, I'll get both of these filled up at the same time. And what I like about it is I have my big label on the front that says white cake mix. And then I just think that looks pretty. And then on the back, I have the ingredient list. So everything I need is right on the jar itself. So whenever I go to refill these, there's no question. I don't have to look it up. It's right on the jar. So, and these were stickers I just made myself on the computer. Super simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this cake mix. I'm going to dump it into my bowl. And again, homemade cake mix that I'm, I'm using like a box cake mix. I'm just going to dump it into the bowl. Yeah. I am the messiest cook, I swear. My mom used to get so mad at me growing up because she'd be like, you need to be more careful. And now that I'm 31 years old, she has realized that I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> it's just, it's just me. So this cake mix currently is one three quarter cup flour, one three quarter cup sugar, so equal parts flour and sugar, two teaspoons baking powder and one teaspoon salt. So that is my dry ingredients. My wet ingredients are going to be two and three, no, hold on, two thirds cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup milk, three eggs, and one teaspoon vanilla. So, three quarter cup vegetable. I keep every time I get on here and I show my vegetable, I get so embarrassed because I feel like I don't know what is wrong with vegetable, but I know everybody in the homestead community keeps talking about how terrible it is, and I haven't done any of the research. I haven't made the move to switch to I don't know avocado oil sunflower oil I don't even know what to move to I haven't done the research on that yet and every time I get like right now as I'm, I'm showing it on video I'm like oh <laughs> you need to do that you need to figure out what to move to or why it's so bad for you next is a quarter cup of milk and you see I'm using canned milk I always use this is just evaporated milk I always use evaporated milk um, I don't use a lot of fresh milk in my house. It's just me. I don't like cereal, which I think is what a lot of people use fresh milk for. And I don't do a ton of cooking because, again, one thing that I cook can last me for the three or four days. Um, so I don't, I don't normally have fresh milk. It was, it was going bad before I could use it all. 
So I started buying evaporated milk and I'm much happier with that. Next, we're gonna add three eggs. And then the last ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla. So I am running out of my vanilla, so I have another thing of vanilla going. And if you're not making your own vanilla, you need to start. So in this jar, I have a handle of vodka and I have 10 vanilla beans. Um, and I just did this about a week ago. I'm letting this sit up in my pantry in a nice dark space and it will turn into vanilla. Uh, so it's just a handle of cheap vodka, 10 vanilla beans. I use Madagascar. I actually don't know. Yeah, I use Madagascar vanilla beans. I just let it sit in a dark space for about six months and it'll turn into vanilla. And that's all the ingredients just for a simple white cake mix. So I want to go and get everything mixed together. And that was no more difficult than a box cake mix. Do the work ahead of time, just kind of have it sitting on your pantry ready to go. And you know exactly what's in it. And you can say this was a completely homemade cake. And it smells delicious. Get it all mixed. Got a little bit of flour at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to fold in my blueberry pie filling. So I'm doing this kick off the summer party at my work and I'm the one organizing it. But it's also what I what I have the habit of doing is I want to make this food for parties and, and cookouts and stuff. But I, I want what I want, you know, I want what I want. And what I'm trying to get in the habit of doing is just saying, okay, what can you make from what you already have in the house? Let me toss it in the sink. So you're not going out and spending a ton of money to make this food. What can you do with what you already have? And blueberry pie or blueberry cake and apple pie. I actually don't know if this is gonna go to work or not. I haven't decided. I can't eat the whole thing, so I probably should, but I also don't know if it's gonna be any good. We're kind of just going with it here. It is a very purple cake. It's very purple. Purple is my favorite color, so I'm like all about it. I just don't want to get it on my shirt. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. Okay, so as I'm kind of sitting here doing this, I decided I want to do this as a bunt pan. I think, oh, I think I want to do this as a bunt pan cake, not a, like a sheet cake. But then if I do a bunt pan, will I still do like my cream cheese frosting? Probably, right? Right? Will you do a bun? Will you do a cream cheese frosting on a bun cake? And maybe you do a glaze. Maybe the cream cheese frosting would be too much for this, and we should do the glaze. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But I do think, oh my god, this color is just gorgeous. It just is like kind of deepening to this really, really gorgeous purple. I think I want that to be seen, and if it's in like just a regular cake pan, you're not gonna see it. So I think I want to do this in a bun pan. inside flour. I feel like I always forget to do like the little spindle. Okay, now we're just gonna pour this guy in and not make a mess.
That tastes really good. So I'm gonna bang it a couple times to get any air bubbles out. And now I'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna bake him with my pie. So I'm gonna go ahead, wipe off my workspace, and then we're gonna start working on our pie. Our apple pie has been in the fridge, or well, our crust has been in the fridge for uh, about half an hour. So she's ready to come out and get rolled. So I'm gonna put some flour. You should see my floor. My floor is covered in flour. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour out on my surface. Um, my Kirk, uh, my countertop right now is an old wooden iron board. Ironing board. Um, my dad had the idea to use it kind of as like an island because my kitchen isn't big enough to have an island, but I do really miss having some sort of island. So I have it in here and I'm testing it out to see if I like it. And so far, I think I like it. I like having this workspace here. It is close to the stove, but I can open the stove and have space. So we're gonna try that. It is very wobbly though. <laughs> so you do have to be careful. So I'm gonna divide this dough in half. I want half for the bottom crust and half for the top. goodness in the bottom I'm just gonna do a dash of water in each one just to get the cinnamon and spices off the bottom to make sure they go in the pie I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight because I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide
So I did promise myself that regardless of how this cake comes out, I am gonna upload this video. Cause this is gonna be real life and not every cake comes out perfect, right? But we're really, really hoping that this comes out perfect. I don't know if you're supposed to do it when it's hot or cold. But I did it when it's hot. I'm gonna see that. I Got a little messy. It was a little messy. <laughs> Again, we're going with the rustic look. A little piece came off. Just that little piece. Why? The rest of it came out perfect. And this I do allow with bunt cake, bunt cakes, which is why I don't make a lot of bunt cakes. I do put too much flour on the top, and that's what this white is here. It's, I had just flour down the bottom of the bunt pan so that it didn't stick. But you know what that means. We have a little bit left in the cake pan. So we get to try this part, right? But I just wanna try it. See if, see if this is any good. It smells good. It's very hot. Let me try one more bite to see. This one has a big old blueberry in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, it's really good. I really like it. I will say, this is not near as sweet as I thought it would be. So, I think definitely instead of doing a glaze, I'm going to do like a cream cheese glaze. Um, I think that's going to add a really nice sweetness to it. But it is 9 p.m. This is still very hot. This is not going to be ready for me to work with tonight to make the glaze. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening I'll make the glaze, get this glaze, and then we can try a piece. But for now, I'm going to get both of these guys wrapped up. And I'll see you tomorrow night to make the glaze and finish this guy off. But... The house smells delicious. I'm really pleased with how good this is. I am going to finish what's in this pan. No, I'm not. <laughs> Y'all, I am a mess. But I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Good morning. It is the next morning and we're gonna make the glaze for our blueberry cake. Um, I'm not a breakfast person. I'm not a breakfast person at all, but I do try on Sundays, try to make like a breakfast for the week. But this Sunday, I didn't do that. I think cause it was Memorial Day, so I was off on Monday. I didn't think about work at all. So I don't have any breakfast for the week. Even though I'm not a breakfast person, I need to eat something in the morning or else it's not a good day for me. So because I don't like breakfast food really, um, I struggle to find like what I want to eat every single morning. So a lot of times if I have a sweet on hand, I eat the sweet. <laughs> so we are gonna have the blueberry cake for breakfast. We're not gonna judge. The scientists actually say to have cake in the morning so you have all day to burn it off. This is what I'm going with. So we're gonna do some cream cheese, some confectioner sugar, and some vanilla. Take a really nice uh, sweet glaze or sweet icing to go on top. And I don't measure, I eyeball things. in there you can add some lemon zest in there to give it some color and some sweet fruitiness i don't have a lemon yet 
my lemon tree is almost ready for a lemon, but not yet. So I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm not honestly a huge lemon person anyway. So I'm just gonna do this. And it's more of an ice than a glaze, and I'm okay with that. Glazes for me get to be too sweet. Again, I'm not, as I eat cake for breakfast, I'm not a sweet person. And in all honesty, this ice in it probably is not sweet enough for the vast majority of people. I really like, I really like savory desserts. We're going to hide that little imperfection in our cake and no one is going to know that it's there. Just us and we're going to keep it a secret. So, so because I can't leave well enough alone, there is the blueberry butt cake. I think it looks pretty. So one thing annoying about me is I love to bake, but I don't really like to eat what I bake too much. So I'm going to take some of this to work so my girlfriends can have some and I'm going to remove the mint leaves. <laughs> they were just for us. So I'm just going to slice up a couple, pack them up, and put them into work. That looks pretty. It's not as purple as it was, which kind of makes me sad. One is for me, and three are for some of my coworkers. I think they'll like them. I hope they like them. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we bake some desserts. If you like my video, feel free to subscribe and check out my Instagram, Farm Girl Diaries, and talk to me over there. I love to chit chat with everybody, and I will see you guys on the next video.